Hey guys, my name is Connor Medina. I'm on the SCAD fishing team. I am on the St. John's River today and I am trying to get into Rodman Reservoir so you can see the lock behind me. I'm waiting for that to open up and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys some of the cool things that we're doing on the team. Um, right here I've got a 3D printed mold. One of the things that we do is we make our own baits. Let's see if I can find one really quick. <laughs> So. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to try to show you guys this mold. Alright, as you can see, the inside of it's really dirty right now because we've been messing around with color changing pigment and just all kind of, you know, just messing around, experimenting with it, so it's kind of messed up right now. But um, as you can see, this is the bait that goes in there. So. Basically, uh, you're injection molding plastisol. I don't know how familiar you guys are with making your own baits, but um, basically you get it, it's in liquid form, you microwave it, and then um, it gets even more liquidy, and then you injection mold it into the top. So it's like a little nozzle, you stick it in the top, and you squirt it in there, and then it hardens, and then this is what you get out of it. One of these guys. Um, and it's kind of hard to see on this guy, but we've been messing around with color changing pigments. So we brush on the inside of the mold. We take it's powder form basically, and we brush it into the mold on the outside, and then just close it up. And when you injection mold the plastisol into it, this is what you come. This is what you get when you come out. So this one is supposed to change from like a maroon to almost like a, a deep blue. Let's see if I can get it. It depends on how you hold it in the light. But it looks really cool underwater. Oh, this one, it looks kind of goofy, this actual bait, because we this is one of the first ones we did and we made it to look like a bee because our mascot is a scad bee. So we made a scad bee bait. But that's the mold. 3D printed. We basically Make this, uh, make this bait in um, SolidWorks is the program we use, it's just a 3D CAD program. And then we uh, took it and made a mold with that, printed it out, just click one button, click, print it out, and we have a mold. And then all we have to do is injection mold it. Cool stuff.